Hi you guys, it's Teresa with ReStixon.com. Today I have the most adorable project for you. I don't know if there's anything cuter on this entire earth than a little boy in a bow tie. And they um, might seem a little intimidating to make. Often there can be some specially hardware involved. Um, but I'm going to show you the simplest possible way to make a bow tie. If you have never been a sewer and you've been looking for the perfect project, this is it. It could not get any easier. So what you're going to need is a few pieces of your fabric. You're going to need two pieces cut. This is about nine inches long and I think it's five inches wide. Um, and then with your iron, you fold in to make thirds and then fold in again to make thirds and that's just pressed and um, no sewing so far so you have this little rectangle and I wrote down let me check my notes the finished size it's about four inches about two and a half but this is the great thing about a little bow tie there does, it doesn't need to fit. It doesn't need to fit anything in particular. So if you're off, if you're a little more generous, a little, it, it's fine. It's totally fine. Okay, so you're gonna need two pieces just like this ironed together. And then you put these back sides together. And if you have one, like see mine, I've got one piece that ended up just slightly bigger than the other. That actually works great. That's a good thing. So with these two pieces sandwiched together, I am just going to run it through my sewing machine. Okay, so now I have these two little flaps sewn together so they can't wiggle away from each other. It's just one straight line right down the middle. So next step is going to be the neck piece. And for these little guys, I'm going to cheat and not use any of the specialty hardware that a real bow tie uses. I'm just gonna use Velcro. So this piece is about 15 inches long. You can, you just need it to be long enough to go around your kid's neck. Um, so it's 15 inches long and then what is it? Like one and a half inches wide maybe. And then with my iron, I just folded these edges in just enough to get them covered and then folded the whole thing in half so that the finished piece is just about half an inch. But like I said, these measurements really don't matter. You need it skinny so that it can fit underneath the shirt collar and you need it long enough to fit around and the rest you can wing it. So I'm going to just fold these edges in as I sew and since I've ironed it so that all of my raw edges are inside I'm just going to sew one seam um, right by the edge to keep all of that shut and then fold this end over while I do it to just finish this whole thing in one quick seam. Now I'm going to just attach the Velcro. I just cut these pieces long and skinny enough that they would fit and you just want to make sure that um, you don't sew them on the same side of the strap. So if I have the hook side on this end that I want to make sure that once it wraps back around, it'll be able to still get the looped side. So um, just pay a little attention as you're attaching this and then just sew all around the square of Velcro to secure it. So see how I have the hook on that side and the loop on that side so that once it comes around together, it'll be able to stick in place. So that's actually the hardest part. We're almost done. We've got one last seam, one last piece here. So this finished piece measures what, like th three inches by maybe three quarters of an inch. And once again, you're just going to um, fold it to get that size. So I guess it's like an inch and a half wide and then you just fold the edges in and give that a good iron to get your finished piece. And then bend it around so that the right side of your piece is touching itself. You've got your raw sides out. And then as close to the edge as you can steer, sew that piece shut. And go over that, uh, um, that little seam 
maybe twice, three times, that's gonna take a lot of stress as we assemble our bow tie. So you wanna make sure that that is good and strong. So once it's sewn, just flip it right side out. And now we just have to shove all the rest of our pieces through this little hole we just made. So I'm gonna fold this. I'm actually kinda gonna roll it up to kinda shove it through. And I found that this is easier if you, um, you know those raw edges that you've got inside this little loop. When you're shoving it through to assemble it, kind of go go with the edges, not against the edges. So um, so that when you're pushing it through, you're not exposing it. If, if that makes sense. Okay. And you just need to get it to the center to cover up that seam line, and you can kind of fluff your bow however you want to once you get that all assembled. And then you just take your tie and shove that through the back too. There we go. If you want to make this extra secure, you can do a little couple a couple little hand stitches to keep the center tie piece to the neck tie piece. Um, so that nothing will slide out, but I'm not too worried. And so you can just kind of fluff it until it's as adorable as you can stand. And voila, a bow tie in like five minutes. I mean, no time. Just you wait until I get this on my Atticus. You're gonna die with how cute it is. Atticus, say my name's Atticus, and, I and I'm cute. So the iron did most of our work there. It was mostly just pressing and then one, two, three seams in Velcro. So I hope that you recognize how simple this project is and that no matter what you think your crafting skills are at today, you can make this project. And I mean, just imagine how awesome you'll feel when your little kids are wearing something you've made yourself or when you give this handmade gift to someone that you love and know that you put your time and your heart into this. It's fantastic. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment and I'll answer it. I'll be sure and leave all of the measurements in the description down below. And so be brave and try something creative today. So um, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other great ideas and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.